The Liber Septimus Latin for seventh book may refer to one of three canonical collections of quite different value from a legal standpoint which are known by this title. Constitutiones Clementina, 1314 Topic 1. The Constitutiones Clementis v. or Constitutiones Clementina, not officially known as Liber Septimus, but so designated by historians and canonists of the Middle Ages, and even on one occasion by Pope John XXII, in a letter to the Bishop of Strasbourg, in 1321. This collection was not even considered a Liber book. It was officially promulgated by Clement V in a consistory held at Monto, near Carpentras southern France on 21 March 1314, and sent to the University of Orléans and the Sorbonne in Paris. The death of Clement V, occurring on 20 April following, gave rise to certain doubts as to the legal force of the compilation. Consequently, John XXII by his bull, Quonium Nulla, of 25 October 1317, promulgated it again as obligatory, without making any changes in it. Johannes Andrea compiled its commentary, or Glossa Ordinaria. It was not an exclusive collection, and did not abrogate the previously existing laws not incorporated in it see Corpus Juris Canonici, Papal Decretals. <laughs> Seventh Book of Decretals, 1690 Pierre Mathieu Petrus Mathias, a canonist of the 16th century, published in 1690, under the title of Septimus Liber Decretalium, Seventh Book of Decretals, a collection of canons arranged according to the order of the papal decretals of Gregory IX, containing some decretals of preceding popes, especially of those from the reign of Sixtus IV to that of Sixtus V, in 1590. It was an entirely private collection and devoid of scientific value. Some editions of the Corpus Juris Canonici, Frankfurt, 1590, Lyons 1621 and 1671, Justus Henning Bomer's edition, Halley, 1747, contained the text of this Liber Septimus as an appendix. Topic: <laughs> Decretales Clementis Papi 8, 1598. Topic. The name has been given also to a canonical collection officially known as Decretales Clementis Papi 8. It owes the name of Liber Septimus to Cardinal Pinelli, prefect President of the special congregation appointed by Sixtus V to draw up a new ecclesiastical code, who, in his manuscript notes, applied this title to it. Fagninus and Benedict XIV imitated him in this, and it has retained the name. It was to supply the defect of an official codification of the canon law from the date of the publication of the Clementina, 1317, that Gregory XIII appointed about the year 1580 a body of cardinals to undertake the work. In 1587 Sixtus V established the congregation mentioned above. The printed work was submitted to Clement VIII, in 1598 for his approbation, which was refused. A new revision undertaken in 1607–08 had a similar fate, the reigning Pope Paul V declining to approve the «Liber Septimus» as the obligatory legal code of the Church. It is divided into five books, subdivided into titles and chapters, and contains disciplinary and dogmatic canons of the Council of Florence, First Lateran Council and that of Trent, and apostolic constitutions of 28 popes from Gregory IX to Clement VIII. The refusals of approbation by Clement VIII and Paul V are to be attributed, not to the fear of seeing the canons of the Council of Trent glossed by canonists which was forbidden by the bull of Paul IV, Benedictus Deus, confirming the Council of Trent, but to the political situation of the day, several states having refused to admit some of the constitutions inserted in the new collection, and also to the fact that the Council of Trent had not yet been accepted by the French government, it was therefore feared that the governments would refuse to recognize the new code. It also seems a mistake to have included in the work decisions that were purely and exclusively dogmatic and as such entirely foreign to the domain of canon law. This collection, which appeared about the end of the 16th century, was edited by François Sentis Clementis Papi 8 Decretales, Freiburg, 1870. Topic sources and references Topic Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Liber Septimus. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. 
George Phillips, Kirchen Richt, IV, Ratisbon, 1851, 378 SQQ. Loren, Introductio in Corpus Juris Canonici, Freiburg, 1889, 196 SQQ, 277 Shearer, Handbuch des Kirchenrecht, I, Graz, 1886, 253 Schneider, Die Lehr v. D. Kirchenrechtsquellen, Ratisbon, 1902, 156 SQQ, 177 Textbooks of Franz Xavier Werns, S. and Agmuller, etc. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Liber Septimus. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.